very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the signals from the premium group I'm aware this uh, the last week it was not really up to the expectations and there were some people who are really upset about it and I want to tell you that this was really a normal thing to happen because the last week was really crazy uh, the market was ranging a lot so many pairs especially Eurocad was ranging a lot for the whole week um, they started also to broadcast the hearings of the removal of Mr. Trump as the president um, the RBNZ the news came and it affected the NZD dollar a lot I mean there was there was a lot of uh, events happened and Angela was doing her best to keep uh, the clients satisfied to the maximum however uh, some days were good some days were bad uh, the, th the sad thing I noticed is there are some people in the comments who have been waiting for this moment they waited to see the premium group signals doing something um, not up to the expectations and then they started attacking us usually these people are from the other premium signals providing another signals uh, in different channels and they are just waiting this moment for a long time we are doing the best signals ever actually since more than a year and we are having a lot of happy clients but only these two weeks uh, we are ha we have some issues with the signals uh, and i hope really next week we will recover and we will uh, make everyone happy and we will uh, recover most of the losses however uh, i believe that there is this next week the market seems really good and we can expect uh, a lot of reversals to happen i think there will be a lot of corrections in the market and i will talk about it right now however uh, I really think that this coming week will be promising and the signals hopefully will be back on its feet and we will see a lot of uh, recovers gonna happen this week. So let's go to the weekly analysis and as usual let's go to the Euro USD which has moved exactly as I predicted uh, last week. We can see the reversal happened exactly on this level where I gave the signal on the level 1.0934. Uh, the euro USD reversed uh, for almost 60 pips before closing Friday night. Now, what's going to happen next? Now, I believe that the euro USD will actually continue its rising because I don't think there is any resistance yet has been reached here to be broken out or retested. Uh, the euro USD is still on daily candles. Let's go to the four-hour chart. We can see that the euro USD actually might make a little small bounce to retest this resistance, and then it's going to continue. It's bearish, uh, sorry, it's bullish momentum. Uh, my expectation is the Euro USD will actually continue rising all the way up until it hit this le uh, level of the resistance right here um, on the level 1.11057. And from there, we can expect to sell the Euro USD. However, let's just uh, check this on the daily candles just to be sure. Uh, I just want to tell you that I really like to do this analysis. Uh, with you because I actually I'm not doing this analysis before recording now of course it might be better to do it before recording however I just want everyone to learn and live the moment of uh, finding the best uh, levels of reversal and can, you can actually do the same and you can analyze the charts by yourself if I do it uh, before that before recording and, and just give it to you like that then you are not you know you're not uh, really learning anything however after checking daily candles, I think this level is actually where we can expect for the EURUSD for the EURUSD to keep rising and to continue going more up because what we can see here is we had a break in support and on the very same level at the left we can see we had also a strong resistance attempt and as I'm telling you always always trust the bigger time frame because it's giving you the actual level of the market even if you are seeing good level on the four hour chart always trust more the bigger time frame if you see something really good on daily candles you can switch to weekly candles uh, to be really more sure now actually after moving to the weekly candles I am so much more sure about the signal for the euro USD now we can expect for the euro USD to continue rising all the way up for almost 36 pips before we can start selling it because this level is very strong as a resistance so let me just mark it here for you so we can actually sell on the level 1.1 1 .1, sorry 1.1062 that should be good for sell 
and hopefully we will see good price action indicating that the market should start reversing we always have to wait to see the good price action before we start uh, before we you know go for it or cancel it however my expectation is after the reversing that the euro usd will continue falling all the way down until it hit this support level again then we need to see any price action indicating a breakout or a reversal however that might not happen until two weeks so for this week i believe the safe signal to be given is to give you the sell order and we can exit our trade at the very same level of this support level here and hopefully we will see what will gonna happen next week and yeah we have to wait and see what will gonna happen before we give the next signal of what to do when the market reach this support level all right let's now move to the pound usd now the pound usd has also moved as i predicted as well exactly the same level has uh, we can see that the market has reversed on the very same level of the support which i mentioned here that we have a strong support level the euro the pound usd was approaching this uh, level of the support and the market reversed exactly on the very same level and reached the same level also of the target which i have mentioned earlier in my uh, last week uh, prediction so what happened next now let's see with a uh, pound usd has moved for almost 122 uh, 124 pips and what we can expect next actually for we can expect for the pound usd to continue rising a little bit more up let me just be more clear here uh, we can expect for it to, to go up all the way until it hit uh, this resistance level for a third attempt so I'm expecting for another third attempt for the pound USD so it will actually continue reversing to fall more down however let's check the weekly candles just to be sure now okay on weekly candles we can see that this level was not really strong as a resistance level we can see it was only a resistance here however checking the history we can't we cannot really see it as a strong resistance it's not really uh, reversing as a resistance on the level even as a support so however we need to wait any price action if it is gonna break from this resistance level or not all in all I think the pound USD is actually falling down but however I don't think this is gonna happen right on this resistance level uh, if you want to be safe in my opinion let's go to the four hour chart uh, let me just tell you where we can place the buy order for the pound USD right here yes um, like that exactly Let's just be more accurate let me just be more accurate my friends I just want to give you the best signal possible hey, shit. okay like that so indeed we can expect for the pound USD to actually move a little bit uh, down let me just do it again yes okay perfect so yes okay so the pound USD actually might fall down a little bit retesting this broken support level right here and here and here and here as well which was also a strong resistance before it actually continue flying more up so I think that for the pound USD it's gonna be a good idea to start buying buy the pound USD on the level 1.28564 that should be actually best place to start buying the pound USD however please be careful because this is a very short term signal uh, we're talking about a lot of pips actually this short term but we're talking about 113 pips of profit because actually we can expect for the pound USD after having a triple top here it might actually reverse and go down uh, the only thing I'm just worried about here is on daily candles we don't see a strong resistance on the same level the strongest resistance is actually right here let me just be sure again even weekly yeah this is a strongest uh, level this is a stronger level as a resistance I don't know if this is a strong uh, this is a correct word however uh, this level is more accurate actually to expect a reversal as a resistance so we can expect for the pound USD to break this level for another 120 pips before it actually start reversing and going down that's why I'm giving you just very short-term signal for the pound USD to actually we can buy it 
and then expect for the price to hit this resistance level so again let's make it short uh, pound USD uh, signal is going to be again short one uh, buy from this level 1.28564 keep your trade running until the market hit this resistance again for a third attempt on the level 1.29692 and then just exit your trade and let's see what will gonna happen uh, if the candles will break this resistance or if they are going to reverse down let's check now the AUD USD now AUD USD has moved almost as I predicted uh, the only thing it happened that I, rev I expected for the euro USD for the AUD USD sorry to reverse right on this resistance level and I thought the market is going to retest this broken support however the market just continued falling more and more down breaking even this support level right here now what is the, the next movement okay let's see now let's look at the left side to find any strong uh, support level let's go to weekly candles <clears throat> uh, sorry I meant to see a strong resistance level now actually I cannot find anything else here we can see this uh, strong or engulfing candle is breaking from this uh, support level right here it's just sorry it's not just uh, reversing and right now I don't see any strong resistance on the left side that we can rely on so however uh, AUD USD actually might be better if we just wait for it more to go to another resistance level before we can start actually uh, selling it let's go to the four hour chart so on four hour chart also we cannot really find anything uh, good unless yes this one here right here so we can expect to start selling the AUD USD let me just uh, put this label for you so sell on the level 0 0.68355 and the reason for that is we're having here a strong resistance level uh, which was also a strong support in the past and we can also see here a resistance number one and the market seems to be approaching now a resistance number two so all in all the AUD USD is actually falling down because I don't think it's uh, gonna go up at this point at all uh, the bearish momentum is very very strong and we can keep the, the, the trade running until we can see this market fall down to actually reach this support level right here so we can expect for the AUD USD to fall for almost 85 pips and again this is your point for sell uh, please keep in mind that the AUD USD is subjective right now because it's ranging a lot and to be honest frankly uh, on the left side we don't see a lot of strong support and resistance attempts however I'm relying on this uh, support here and right here this week here that the AUD USD, AUD USD was actually going to retest this level and then continue is falling down uh, the problem or the only problem is actually this long candle here this uh, long uh, bullish candle is very strong and we cannot know what will gonna happen unless we see the next candle opens if it's gonna reverse or not it's really hard to explain but however this candle we can see it closed completely bullish candle full bar without any weeks on it indicating that the market seems to be going a little bit more up to hit this resistance level before it actually continue falling more down so please don't rush and just wait for the AUD USD to show any any price action for reversal on this level before you can start selling the AUD USD all right so let's check now the USD CAD okay let me just delete all of that so USD CAD however is still ranging on this level uh, as I mentioned the USD CAD was supposed to retest this broken sub, uh, resistance level however it just continued going more up and I was expecting for it to reverse right on this resistance uh, because we have here a resistance number one and I was expecting for it to reverse on resistance number two uh, for the whole week the USD CAD was ranging on this resistance level so you can see this level was really strong as a resistance and the market was not really eventually able to break from this resistance so what's gonna happen now we can see that finally we had this uh, bearish candle appeared after a full week of uh, bullish momentum and what I can expect for now is the USD CAD is actually going a little bit down let me just be more accurate as much as possible my friends yes I can expect for the USD CAD to actually fall down a little bit to this support level and then it's gonna continue rising more up 
So in other words, let me just uh, write it for you. Uh, we can start buying USD CAD on the level 1.31580. That should be actually the best signal uh, with the best level because uh, we can see clearly we have a, dub a, a double bottom here and we can see a very clear also support number one which was also a support in the past and a resistance and also a support so this level is very strong and this in this this candle here indicating that the market actually seems to be going more down and again if you are following my videos always you can know that this is the right way to draw the support line because it's touching all the wicks on this support attempt so I can expect for the AUD USD, for the USD CAD to start reversing on the support number two, uh, exactly on this level of 1.31580 before it actually gonna start rising more up. Uh, hopefully it will be good and we will get profit from this signal. Let's move now to the USD GPY. Uh, the USD GPY has moved exactly also as I predicted last week. It reversed exactly on this resistance level and kept going down to the support level. And as I said, I'm expecting for it to reverse right on the support level and it's going to continue going more up and we can sell it right on this resistance right here. However, uh, the price action happened now. Uh, this one is really strong price action here because I can see this candle is uh, indicating actually um, more bearish momentum actually. It, it's not really strong. Uh, it's not really a bullish reversal price action if you know what I mean. So. I don't see it actually going more here. Let me just be more accurate as much as possible, my friends. I'm just trying to be clear here that I'm expecting for the USD GPY to actually go a little bit more up, uh, hit this resistance level again, and then it's going to continue its bearish momentum. Why there is a buy the label here? Okay. So again, uh, we can expect, expect to sell the USD GPY. Let me move to the four hour charts and no nope, not here i think it's gonna be happening somewhere on this resistance like that yes this is the right way exactly right yes all right so let's see uh usd gpy good for sale on the level 108.942 Hopefully the USD GPY, was, GPY is going to reverse on this level. Uh, just give me one minute to explain the reason. Because on the daily candles, we can see the bearish momentum is very strong. Uh, the reversal was strong on this level. And if we go to the four hour chart, we can see that here we had a good resistance attempt. Always remember, when you see a resistance attempt represented in long week like that, it's usually indicating a very strength level of a support as, oh sorry, and a resistance. So we have it here as well, and that is the one I trust the most. Let's go to the left a little bit, and we can see it always, uh, also here, very accurate on the same level, and right here. The very same level of that previous long week I talked about, we can see it was really strong as a resistance. Even here, if we go even more to the left side, and we check the past, on January uh, 2019, this was also very strong as a resistance. So in other words, this level is really cannot be uh, ignored as a resistance. And after seeing this uh, head and shoulders right here on the four hour chart, we can expect for the market to actually continue falling more down. Uh, so the USDGPY is good to sell on this level and we can keep the trade running until it hit this previous support here. Uh, we can look for almost 96, 97 pips of profit. Hopefully we will get them all and it will be a good week for uh, the USD GPY. All right, let's check now the USD CHF. USD CHF has also moved exactly as predicted. I told you that uh, next uh, last week, I told you that we can sell the USD CHF immediately at the very same level of this resistance and exit your trade at this support level. That's exactly how the pair moved and I'm, I'm happy with the signal actually. Uh, allow me now to tell you what will gonna happen on the next week now what i'm expecting is um for the uscchf to continue it's falling actually it doesn't seem to be going up at all at this point let's go to the weekly candles and we can see a lot of ranging guys seriously i really 
hate seeing that it's just irritating to my eyes it's just ugly it's just not the market that you want to give any signal about because it's just in consolidation mode and there is a lot of possibilities so many things can happen here we cannot really rely on the support or resistance levels we can see but however um, if we can look at this uh, bearish momentum here we can see the bearish let me uh, this is something I have explained in the past actually we can see there is a lot of bearish momentum uh, a lot of bearish breakouts happening these are not coincidence these are indicating that the market is actually having uh, more power from the bull from the bears not, not from the bulls from the bears they are pushing the market down when you see the market is like that um, this is daily candles so we can see the market is spending five days to go a little bit more up and then in two days it's falling down then again spending another two weeks to go a little bit more up then again just in two days only it's falling down then spending a few months to go up and again in two days it's falling down this is this is really more powerful uh, situation for the bears they are controlling the market they are not giving the the bulls any chance to push the market up so what is the next movement let me just tell you something we can expect for the USDCHF to be good to sell right on this previous support level before it was also a support and it was also a strong resistance and right here and right here so we can expect uh, on daily candles let's go to the four hour chart uh, we can expect for the USDCHF to actually rise a little bit more up uh, make a final retest on this support level before it actually continue falling more down and to make the signal more safe let me just adjust it to make it only up to this uh, support level so we are looking for almost 74 pips of profit so USDCHF should be good to sell on the level 0 0.1199 sorry 99191 hopefully the USDCHF is going to follow this uh, uh, prediction and it's gonna fall like that uh, because actually I really don't see it going up at this point at all so let's move now to the gold and see what happened to the gold uh, my last signal last week was expecting for the gold just exactly what happened here to reverse a little bit more up and make a final retest of this uh, previous support level so it will continue actually falling more down uh, let's just check the price action happened here uh, this price action on daily candles this one it's representing a strength in the level of the support so I actually, actually we can expect for the gold to, to rise a little bit actually hit this previous support level and then gonna continue fall more down we can expect for it to go a little bit more up hit this resistance level but eventually I think the result is the same is going to fall down so let me just move to the four hour chart so we can see it more in action uh, this is the level where I send my signal I believe I think this one here we can see the pair has actually moved a little bit it was ranging here in this uh, resistance uh, level however uh, as I mentioned this price action is uh, good for bullish uh, momentum and we can expect for the pair for the gold to continue rising a little bit more up to reverse on this level before it actually continue falling more down so let me just be more accurate about the gold please guys this is uh, sensitive let me just uh, find the best levels of the resistance before actually I can give you the signal so this was really strong as a support level can I see anything on the left however this level was really strong as a resistance so I can expect for the market to reverse right on this level here because we have here a resistance number one and we can expect for the gold to rise a little bit more up hit this resistance number one and create resistance number two we can expect for it to rise a little bit more up as I said and hit this resistance before it actually f continue falling more down so all in all gold is good to start selling on the level sell on the level 1484 and keep your trade running until it hit the same level of the support level uh, 1449 and we can look for almost 344 pips of profit hopefully we are going to get them all from the gold so again my friends I really hope this week will be profitable for everyone especially also for the premium group uh, of signals 
and I will try my best to help Angela also so we can uh, make every, everyone happy in the group and again I really wish uh, this uh, was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.